Yamaha YBR125. Um, I'm going to take the forks off um, and then do the uh, new fork tube. As you can see, these ones are very pitted and rusty. Um, the fluid's coming out and it's failed the MOT for it. Um, so far, we've taken the wheel off. My guard. I'm just undoing these two nuts here. Here. And then there's two more. One on this side. And then one up here as well. Um, when we've done that, we'll take the forks out and then look at how we're going to strip them down. Okay, we've literally just finished undoing those two bolts. And the fork is now falling down. Should come out pretty easily. Probably will have only two hands for that. And then we have the first fork totally off. <coughs> and it looks like it's quite a simple affair. We have this um, Allen bolt at the top here we need to undo. And there's also one in there we probably need to undo as well. So we shall look into that. And I'll continue that in a second video. Excuse the mess in my really cluttered shed, but uh, we now have the uh, the fork, whole fork, in the vice. No soft jaws here, just a couple of bits of wood. A 14mm hex piece that we can see there. I had to borrow that because not something I had in my own tool case. Um, and then, as you can see, just that, that's the 14mm. It sits in that. I did put some plus gas on there, but it was only in there for about five minutes. Uh, it was a lot tighter than this originally, but we now have that out. And we shall just continue taking that out until the comes all the way out. Now this fork oil has never been changed. Um, initially the bike's engine on 10,000 miles, but it's never been changed at all. Just pulling that all the way out. Threads look longer than I was expecting. Oh, and that jumped out nicely. Um, I'm just going to find that bit and we're going to go from there and see what we need to do next. Okay, we're back. Um, so that's the little top piece that came out and then there's a spacer. Just going to drain the oil into this tub. Don't know how much is in there. Okay, oil looks pretty dirty. And that's a spring. Um, I've never done this before, never touched a fork before, so we may have a couple of hiccups. That's running off, and I'll take that fork out, and that spring, spring out even, and we'll go from there. So you're going to align everything on here the correct way, so we know which way it goes back together. Back in a second. Okay, and after lots of fiddling around, I have worked out, in the bottom here, I tried undoing this first, there is a, uh, an Allen head bolt up through here, up in there. Uh, that is, I'm just checking to see what size it is for you. That's 8mm, 8mm Allen up through there. Tried in doing that, it just spun. I think I might have torn a seal inside, but we'll worry about that later. Okay, and then up the top here, we have all of that lot. And it's the same 17mm job we used um, earlier. Now, I'm hoping that'll work. Um, down the bottom, it is a bi-hex um, socket it's going into, but it shouldn't matter too much. You think most... Um, Spanners and stuff used by hex, so we're hoping that's going to work, and there can't be too much torque on it. So we're going to have the eight mil in under, fourteen mil above, and we're going to go from there. And um, obviously, nice high tech soft drills again. We'll carry on the moment. Okay, we're a few seconds later, and uh, that little Allen headed bolt, with the copper washer popped out. Copper washer looks alright, so I'll probably reuse that. I didn't buy any of those. And in here we have the fork. And yes, yeah, she is. All out nicely. Okay, I'm um, going to disassemble this and uh, I'll get the parts and I'll show you other bits in a second. Okay, back for just a really quick update. Um, that's all the parts we've taken off. So we have the top part, we have the spacer, and all the diagrams. There's meant to be on a washer here. Um, nothing on my one. Um, we'll check when we take the other one apart. Occasionally I fuck up. Um, spraying with the tighter coils. Towards the top, and those ones there. Now, this is aligned as it goes in, so we've got the damper. Nothing broke on that, it all seems fine, so happy with that. Uh, and then there's the stanchion, which is obviously foobard. 
Uh, we have some two new ones there, and then we have loads of seals. Back into the shed. Um, these are the dust caps and the oil seals. I've never done these again, so I'm going to disappear while I strip this down. Um, but it can't be too difficult, and we'll pull that out, um, and then we'll carry on. Hopefully, we'll have this back together tonight. I wasn't going to record this bit, but I thought it's probably just worth mentioning. Uh, the dust cover came out really easy, just popped out. Uh, but in here, there is a circlip of sorts. You can just about see it there now. now. I just leave the end out, and then I'm just going to pull that out nice and easy. I'm going to try and do this on camera. It probably won't work. It particularly won't work when I zoom in like that. Okay, so here we are. Grab the end, out straight away. That's the circlip. We're going to reuse that. Didn't want to buy one of them. A couple of quid we can save. Um, now, next bit is the actual oil seal. It's a bit crowded in here, so we'll probably give it a clean as well. Um, just trying to get it to focus. Yeah, it's very dirty, so we'll just clean that up. Get a bit of paraffin or something on it just to clean it. Um, that's it. For okay, one last thing. Um, the actual oil seal, which is in there, uh, won't come out very easily. Um, I have my new one, just to see what it's like. That just fits in there and we'll get tapped down but getting the old one out with the screwdriver isn't working so what i'm going to do just put some plus gas on it trusty plus gas we're going to leave it while i strip down the other fork and then we'll be back to this one hopefully plus gas would have done what plus gas does okay well it turned out i looked down on the bench and i saw this little fella which is actually um apart from a toyota toolkit um and i've just levered the fella out bit rusty in there, so uh, that's not to worry. Let me literally put it down there and lever it around, obviously just very gently at a time. So I'm going to do the forks one at a time, as I originally wanted to do. I always feel it's better doing it that way. You can't get anything messed up, mixed up, etc. Um, I obviously won't fill them until the end, and I'll fill them together using the measurement method opposed to the um, volume method. Okay, so clean and reassemble. Reassembly now. Um, I've just cleaned it out with some WD-40. Um, Nothing too special. Um, so we have the oil seal. So this is the important seal. Uh, this is going back in. I'll just coat the edge just with a tiny little bit of um, rubber grease. And just the red stuff. Um, I like to do that on bearings. Just makes them go a little bit easier. Um, and obviously won't denature them at all. I'm um, just going to put that in. Probably just going to use a little block of wood and the old fella to tap it on. Um, generally use the old ones when we do the VW oil seals, etc. So I'm sure the same will work here. Back in a moment. Okay, I finally got that seal in. That was uh, a lot, lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, I resorted in the end to a 30mm socket on the top and hammered it. Make sure you go in parallel. I didn't, and it took, was a lot harder. Hopefully on the second one it will go very smoothly. So now all we need to do, clean that fella, put him back in, uh, and then start rebuilding the fork. Nice and simple. Okay, before we start assembly, I'm just going to show you one last thing. Uh, all the parts I put were uh, skin in. Yam parts, and even the forks. Amusingly, these are made in China. Probably the same as the cheap eBay ones, you get for half the price. But you know that now, I didn't. Um, forks, you can see compared to new and old. Um, new ones, nice and shiny. Old ones, pitted and ruined. Um, we'll get them back in and hopefully everything will be fine. Okay, just a one quick before and after. Uh, you can see that fork on the right there, it's the one that's just been done. See how shiny that is. Nice new dust seal. Nice new chrome. Chrome on this one on the other hand. I was going to tear seals forever. Um, so I've got to do it all over again, but this time I know what I'm doing. And obviously you guys know what you're doing. Okay, very last bit. Um, one fork is totally done there. This needs to be reassembled and put on the bike. Um, I did however find the washer. Um, one of them was in the tub where I drained the oil out and the other one when I took the second fork apart was obviously there. So just going to reassemble the first fork um, and then pop them back on the bike. They do have gaiters which I will show you in a bit as well. 